Samsung's heir apparent Lee Jae-yong is now under arrest in connection with the massive corruption scandal gripping the nation. Our Hwang Ho-jun, who has been following this story from the Independent Council Office since last December, is here with us in the studio today. Ho-jun, thank you for joining us. Good evening, Daniel. Right, we cannot overstate the gravity of this situation. Uh, you're absolutely right. Lee Jae-yong's arrest has been sending out shockwaves across Korea and abroad as it's expected to have as yet untold repercussions not only for the investigation but also on the Korean economy. I mean, this is the head of the most powerful company in Korea who's now in police custody. This whole central district court approved the arrest warrant requested by the independent counsel team in the early hours of Friday morning. This was the team's second request, which it filed on Tuesday. In filing for the second warrant, the counsel expanded the charges against Lee to include diverting assets overseas and concealing the gains from a criminal act. That's on top of the original charges of bribery, embezzlement, and perjury the team filed against Lee with its first arrest warrant request that was rejected last month. The court explained its ruling via a text message to reporters saying, I quote, the rationale for and the necessity of Lee's arrest is acknowledged considering the new charges and additional evidence collected. So just to refresh everybody's memory, the Korean tech giant is accused of giving nearly $38 million to entities controlled by President Park confidant Choi Soon Sil in exchange for support of a 2015 merger of two Samsung affiliates, that's Samsung CNT and Tail Industries, that was deemed critical to cementing Lee's succession to the top of Samsung Group. Right, there's no arguing how big Samsung is. Uh, people around the world are more uh, familiar with Samsung than Korea itself. That's how big it is. It's the uh, second time the independent council had to start an arrest warrant. This must have been a huge clash of the titans between Samsung and the probe team. Indeed. Samsung is still denying all the charges, and the conglomerate's uh, decision making body, that's Samsung Future Strategy Office, says it will do its best to prepare for the trial and uncover the truth. So there may be another battle brewing at this moment between arguably the most powerful company in Korea and the independent counsel team. During the team's afternoon briefing today, its spokesperson expressed a renewed determination in getting to the bottom of Samsung ties to the case. Take a look. With the arrest warrant issued, the team will be sure to investigate any issues that haven't been adequately covered. And of course, we will not only indict Lee, but will ensure we are still able to prosecute the case. Right, time is of the essence, and they not, may not be uh, the, the team's best friend. The initial mandate for the prosecutorial team to complete the investigation is coming up quite soon. 11 days to be exact, Daniel. So the team has requested for a 30-day extension of its 90-day investigative mandate on Thursday. And by law, the request for an extension must be made at least three days prior to the deadline. But according to the team's spokesperson, it's not legally a problem to make the request earlier. And considering that the team has had the Samsung chief arrested but has not been able to search the presidential office premises, a decision made by this whole administrative court yesterday, observers are saying the request for an extension was absolutely necessary. It will now be up to Hwang yu uh, the prime minister and the acting president, to decide whether to grant the one-time extension. But in the meantime, the team actually vowed to work as fast as it can to make sure that they uh, tie up all the loose ends of the case. Let's hope they wrap it up quickly because the sooner they wrap it up, that means you won't have to burn the midnight oil at the independent council office anymore. Absolutely. Thank you for being out there for us. We'll look forward to more updates from you. Thank you for coming in today, Ho-jun. My pleasure, Daniel.